Have you ever looked at your reflection in a spoon? What does it look like? The front of the spoon shows an upside down image, while the back of the spoon shows a smaller upright image. I think the spoon is a type of mirror. There are different types of mirrors around us. The surface of a shiny spoon is a good example of a curved mirror. Curved mirrors are called spherical mirrors. A mirror that curves inwards or away from you is called a concave mirror. On the other hand, a mirror that bulges outward or towards you is called a convex mirror. Let's take a closer look at the characteristics of images formed by concave mirrors. We will look at a concave mirror from the side and from the front. Let's look at the image of a bottle in this concave mirror. First, we place the bottle close to the mirror. How big is the bottle's image? The reflection of the bottle in the mirror appears bigger than the bottle itself. What else can we say about the image of the bottle in the mirror? Is it upright or inverted? Is it real or virtual? How can an image be real? When we call an image real, we mean an image that can be saved on photographic paper, film, or that can be projected onto a cinema screen. Images that cannot be saved on film are virtual. Then this looks upright and is virtual. It feels like it is behind the mirror. This is because when the bottle is placed close to the mirror, light rays travel from the bottle to the mirror. The rays are reflected on the surface of the mirror and from there, they diverge or move away from each other. Let's move the bottle away from the mirror. We see the bottle in the mirror growing bigger. What about the nature of the image? It is inverted and a real image but it is upside down instead of laterally inverted. This happens because the parallel light rays striking the concave mirror are reflected downwards. They converge at one point and the image appears inverted and in front of the mirror. Let's move this bottle further away from the mirror. What is the nature of the image now? The image is inverted and real. And the size of the image is smaller than before. Yes, the light rays from the top of the bottle are reflected at the bottom of the bottle. The light rays from the bottom of the bottle reflect upwards. As a result, you see an inverted image. The point where all these light rays meet is called a focal point. If the object is placed before the focal point, its image appears upright. And when the object is placed at or beyond the focal point, an inverted image is formed. Now, do you know what concave mirrors are used for? I remember, Dad uses one of these mirrors while shaving. Yes, concave mirrors are used as shaving or makeup mirrors as they enlarge an image. They are also used by dentists to magnify teeth. Concave mirrors show bigger images, so they are used to see objects that are far away from us. In a telescope, for example, when light rays enter a telescope, they fall on the concave mirror. This concave mirror converges all the light on the focal point where the image is formed. A plane mirror is placed at this focal point, which directs the light towards the eyepiece. If we place a light bulb at a focal point, then almost all the reflected rays from the bulb will travel in the same direction. We use this in cars' headlights. We use headlights to see the things that may be a great distance away. Let's do an exercise. Here is a solar heater. How does a solar heater cook food? 
A solar heater uses a concave mirror. The sun's rays strike the concave mirror and converge at the focal point, thus making the focal point a very hot location. If we place a paper at the focal point, it will burn. We can use this focal point for cooking or heating food. Let's summarize. The image formed by a concave mirror is enlarged, virtual, and upright when the object is placed close to the mirror. The size of the image is overly enlarged at the focal point and gets smaller as the object moves away from the focal point. The image is real and inverted when it is placed at or away from the focal point. Makeup mirrors, solar heaters, and the headlights of automobiles are some common uses of concave mirrors.